In this one, we're here with Crystal Nowaki, AKA Mrs. Dubsest. And she drives this badass BMW X5. Let's learn about her journey to that car. Thank you very much, Crystal, for coming on to this channel with me and doing the video. Thanks for having me. I'm so <laughs> excited to do this. This is awesome. You know, we, we had a vision when we were talking about this, when we did Lucas's video, that we'll get you on the show as well. Right. And, and kind of ask about what your thoughts are on his car obsession. So what is it like being with a car nut like Lucas? Do you share sort of the similar passion for the car as he does? So how do I answer this without making him sound crazy? could be a little crazy. <laughs> you know what? Lucas is super passionate about his cars. He's always been from the day I met him. So yes, I do share the same passion. I think as the years have gone on, I, it, it, I have kids. Yeah. Life happens. So it's not a, as it was before. You can I, just he pick definitely up and... has made me have an appreciation for cars. Yeah, yeah that's, that's amazing. I mean, you've gone through a series of cars as a result of that too. Yeah. Now, what, what, what does that history look like? Wow. I feel like we change cars often. <laughs> Maybe not as much now as before, but I had a Lexus Aya to start. And obviously every car that we've had has been it modded. Never stays talk. Never, t no, no, <laughs> he just can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, th that's where the issue lies. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of an obsession, but it's a good obsession. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm always driving a nice car, right? Yeah. It always looks different, unique. So, it's one of a kind. There you go, yeah. So uh, Lexus IS. Uh, modded and then uh, we got rid of that and I had an E90 the 330 the 335 335 yeah nice. no 328. sorry <laughs> 328 <laughs> <laughs> thank you Lucas he's out there he's kind of uh, guiding us along as well <laughs> it was silver <laughs> it was modded hey we'll put some pictures <laughs> right. uh, after that we had our daughter our first and quickly realized that we needed space uh, in order to get around with her. Yeah. So then we decided that we were going to get into SUVs. We looked around and we got into like the BMW X5 family. So it yeah. was a diesel X5. That's uh, what to you started start, off with. To start. A it white was one? Gray. Uh, yeah. It was gray, yeah. Also modded. Then Slam. after, yeah, Dump after spread. that we quickly upgraded to a yeah. white X5. And that one had, I really wanted gold rims. So. Oh, a white X5 has always been my go-to yeah. when I was in that time where I wanted to get into X5s as well. But gold wheels on white, oh, yeah, it, 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 so good. it popped. <laughs> it was definitely a head turner, right? That's awesome. And then we saw this one and uh, it just caught our eye and it was just so menacing. Total opposite from a white though. Total opposite. <laughs> and both of us, we were kind of so unsure about black because with, with his OCD, <laughs> cleaning a black car. <laughs> Anyways, but you know what? We love it. It's awesome. It's my daily. I love driving it. So. Yeah. yeah. I, black cars. I, I had one black car in the history of my car journey and that didn't last long. Yeah. After a year, I'm like, oh, no, yeah. this is too much stress, too many, too much maintenance, got rid of it ASAP. But he seems to keep it nice and clean. Yeah. <laughs> my own personal Pro car wash guy. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> So this is a very unique X5. Yes. It's not your everyday X5. Right. It's got a lot of mods, a lot of ground effects and so on. What's your take on all this, all these mods to it? Has it taken away from the daily usability? Not at all. It's definitely, you know, when uh, it's, when a car is dub spec, hashtag dub spec, uh, it's, it's usable, yeah. right? It, <laughs> OEM you know, plus is how you call plus, it. OEM yeah. plus, yeah. <laughs> I know all the terminology. <laughs> so it's done in such a way that it's driver usable, driver yeah. friendly. Uh, obviously, it's my daily, so it can be modded in such a way that I wouldn't be able to get yeah. from point A to point B. You know, I'm lugging my kids around, I'm going to the grocery, I'm running my own errands. Yeah. So I need to be able to go anywhere. Right. The thing is on air suspension too, so on demand you slam it and raise it as yeah. you need. So yeah. do you use that a lot? You know what? Every time I park the car, 
Uh, <laughs> I lower it, yeah. You've got to have that dub, uh, dub yeah. spec stance, right? Yeah, it's the whole whole image, right? Yeah. So as you walk away from the car, do you look back and go, wow, that's a badass X5? You know, I do. Make or model doesn't really matter. As long as it's nice, it catches my eye, mm. right? This car, it's, it's truly, like, it's beautiful. It's, it's unique in its own way, yeah. right? I mean, do you know some of the mods that have been done to the car? Does he consult you first before he says, I'm going to do this to the car? Believe it or not, I'm his biggest critic. <laughs> so he'll always come to me and he'll ask, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think yeah. about that? My initial response is typically, like, I don't know about that. Like, you know, when, when he changed the rims on this car, I had black rims before. Yeah. I love that setup. And I'm like, why fix something that's not broken, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he had this vision and, you know, we went back and forth about it. He pulled the trigger and, you know, when he has a vision, it, it, it tends to... Nothing gets in the way of it. Right? <laughs> and, it, and, it tends, and it looks good. Yeah. Right? So, so what, what, what sort of wheels are on this thing right now? So right now it's uh, custom BC forged uh, brushed rims. Uh, they're 23 inch. Man, that's crazy. A 23 inch rims on I that know. thing. <laughs> it's massive. Yeah. You haven't curbed it yet, have you? No, no. <laughs> you know what? I'm uh, well trained. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he's taught me appreciation for cars. I always like nice cars, nice things. But when, you, when it's your own, you take care of it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, I put my my cameras on if I'm going through a drive through <laughs> make sure I'm not curbing uh, any rims. That's awesome. If I know, if I have to think twice about it, don't I don't do usually it. do it, right? <laughs> there you go. So. <laughs> what, what else has been done to the car that you were aware of? Okay, so uh, the rims, and they're on Michelin uh, 315 square. Okay. Uh, starting from the front, it is... <laughs> well, we're going to go all the way back. Yeah. Starting from the front, it's a 3D design uh, front lip with carbon canards. Nice. Then uh, ham and I, wide body. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> ham and wide body <laughs> on the car. Uh, and then, so it's an IND cosmetic package. Yeah. So that, that's like all the uh, reflective markers are now color matched. Yeah. All around the car. What was that the wide body flares on the, the wheels, the wheel wells? That's the Hammond. The Hammond. Yeah, yeah, Hammond. That's See, awesome. I know my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely a badass X5. I mean, it, it's... And I feel badass driving it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what aspect of you driving it does it make you feel badass that way? I just feel like it's this all black... Well, except for the rims now. See, he changed my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... it To me, when I see it driving mm -hmm. it just looks mean yeah so and i think it's, it's got it, that presence it right? has a presence yeah. right it definitely it's unique in it, in it in the way it looks and the mods that have been done to it 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 just yeah it, it, right? in, in some ways I, I think that looks better than an x5m it's just what what's been done to it the wheels the the wide body pieces that's added to it yeah, yeah it's nice would you trade this car in for anything else i mean is there a dream car that you would prefer to be driving instead of this? Definitely a dream car. Um, maybe I'll get there one day. Who knows? But uh, I really do love how the Lamborghini Urus looks. Yeah. I've loved it from the day it came out. I don't love all Lamborghinis, but this one in particular, it catches my eye. It looks mean. Yeah, the Urus is a nice car too. It's very aggressive. Yes, yes. And in black, it would be even more badass. Yeah, black. Yeah, that <laughs> would look awesome. Right, Lucas? <laughs> <laughs> let's maybe uh touch on your instagram account quickly you, you, you're you're on instagram as mrs dubstep Dubstest, yeah give us a bit of history on that why did you start that when lucas started blowing up on instagram you know a couple of the guys were you know they're like oh instagram was now becoming super popular or maybe it was popular already but it was becoming popular to the, this yeah. car group so I decided, hey, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna create Mrs. Dubsessed and see how many followers I can get. Yeah. And within like three weeks, I had about a thousand. But the account is so like <laughs> underused, and you know, so it it kind of just hovered at like I think I'm at 1,700. Yeah, yeah. So and every now and again, I'll get a message, and it's like an angry message, like, oh, wow. why don't you answer me? I want to know what mods you have. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like. Please refer to Dubsess. Yeah, at Dubsess. I always say that. I'm like, I don't run th this account. <laughs> Please refer to at. Yeah, anyways. Do you foresee yourself kind of 
posting stuff on there you more know what frequently. i thought about it and I, maybe i'm gonna start taking a picture here and it doesn't have to be perfect right yeah no so all natural yeah that's that's awesome yeah. hey if you uh, you haven't seen her account definitely check it out does it sound like i'm in his shadow though i don't want it to sound like no. that no because no, no. i mean we are like we're a couple right but that's so. that's part of it though, right? right yeah okay and, and there's a lot of influence from uh, on lucas on the car too yeah, right so exactly. it's hard not to talk about it without right referring to him fake kind of thing right yeah so it's uh, i think it's good i chose the mods <laughs> <laughs> well at the end of the day you have final say in what gets done to this car right exactly do you, do yeah. you think he's going to bring another uh, replace this car with something else before the uh Euros comes along yeah he's spoken about it already oh so, yeah well, what, wait, wait can you tell us what that might be it was, it's another one of these oh yeah the new oh yeah just the newer version right oh. yeah lucas man new car no good the new X5. <laughs> it, it doesn't look as good as this. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for doing this. This was episode 10 of uh, Car Stories. I finished so. it off for you. <laughs> <laughs> Winter's coming and it's coming fast. And, you know, this is the last one that we're going to do for 2022. So I appreciate you all watching the videos and providing all the feedback you've been giving us as well. It's been amazing. I hope to do more in 2023 and stay tuned. So if you all like this one, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the new year. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Yes. Good job.
Are they going to say that I spoke too much about loser over there? No. You hoser. <laughs> no, no, I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, my hubby and all his hoser friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, com com comments could be. Smoking. Okay. <laughs> small stuff. Let me go get my binder. No, no, no. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Hold on, buddy. I just want to know if Jeff has his hat on. That's what I want to know. <laughs> woo, woo. Oh my god, I was gonna do that. <laughs> you actually fall for that? No, I was gonna do it. And I'm like, ah, oh, these guys are gonna think I'm a, I'm a hoser. I, I can't see you, Crystal. You're. Uh, <laughs> 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 you're <laughs> Is everybody driving that car right now? <laughs> It's a remote, man. I have a, I'm steering from my from my center console here. Hello. Yeah. You know we have to call Thumbs Up Boo from now on, right? <laughs> okay, Jeff. Lucas, do you have a do you have a pet name for Crystal? <laughs> Darla. <laughs> Darla. I'm not even joking. He, Darla. He's always called me Darla. 